Hi Elementary Music Festival friends. This is a video for the second bass part for Crunchy Crunchy Crunchy. This part is optional, uh, but I do think it'd be really nice to have this part. Um, thinking maybe on some bass bars as a possibility or maybe some uh, maybe something else we'll just have to see when we get together. Um, but this part would really help us um, to have that lower section and to keep us all together. Uh, it's also got the A section and then the B section. Um, so please um, go ahead and learn this part, get really comfortable with all of it. And then um, as with all of our songs, once you feel comfortable in this part, then go back and learn additional parts for Crunchy Crunchy Crunchy. That will really help us when we get together in January. If you know more than one part, just in case I need to make any um, changing of parts or adjustments to the parts, okay? So again, this is the second bass part that is, is optional, but I would really like to include it in our piece. Okay, happy practicing. All right, hello friends. This is going to be an additional bass line for Crunchy Crunchy Crunchy. We may or may not have this part, but I wanted to go ahead and um, record the video um, just in case we end up needing it. So this is an additional bass line that we might um, need for our performance of Crunchy Crunchy Crunchy. So this one is gonna be um, all quarter notes and then some quarter rests. Um, so very simple rhythm, but um, it would be an important part in helping the ensemble stay together. So first I'll show you the A section for this part and then the B section. So the A section, we're only going to need two different notes or two different pitches. We're gonna need our big C, which is right here. And then we're gonna need our, uh, our, our big G, okay? Um, we're gonna get in measure one, two, and four. You're going to play three quarter note C's followed by a quarter rest. So just simply C, 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 rest. You'll play that in measure one, two, and four of the A section. And then in the B section, you're going to get the big G, same rhythm. G, 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 rest. And then remember the entire A section repeats. So measure one will be the C, two is the C, three is the G, four is the C, and then you repeat. So the A section for this additional bass line would be this. One, two, ready, and C, 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 rest. C, 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 rest. G, 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 rest. C, 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 repeat. C, 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 G, 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 C, C, C. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time without me speaking. One, two, ready, and. section. Hi again friends, this is um, going to be a video for that additional baseline that we might use this part, we might not, we'll just see how things go in February um, for crunchy 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 and this is the B section. So it's still gonna follow the quarter note rhythm um, for the first phrase of the B section, the first half, you're gonna be on your F, big F, then it's gonna go to your big C. Then it'll go back up to your big G and then to your C, okay? And those are gonna be, the, the rhythm will be for all of those patterns, three quarter notes with a quarter rest. So uh, for the first half of the B section, additional bass line will be F, 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 C, 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 G, 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 C, C, C. So it sounds like this. One, two, ready, and F, 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 C, 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 G, 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 C, C, C. Again, without me speaking. That's the first phrase of the B section. Then the second phrase will start the exact same way. It'll start on the F. And then it's gonna go to the C, but then the ending is going to be different. There's gonna be seven quarter notes. It will be C, C, G, G, C, C, C. 
So the ending of the B section is C, C, G, G, C, C, C. If I put that with what comes before it, it's the same exact um, part that happened at the beginning of the B section. You've got F, 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 C, 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 now the new part, C, C, G, G, C, C, C. So that's the second phrase of the B, the B section additional bass part. One more time on that. Now I'm going to play the entire additional bass line for the B section. So from first phrase to second phrase of the B section and then I'll take the repeat and repeat it. So beginning of the B section additional bass part. One, two, ready, and the B section of the bass part. Hi again friends, now I'm going to play the additional possible bass line for crunchy 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 um, from beginning to end. So I'll do the A section with the repeat and then the B section with the repeat. One, two, ready, and. 